Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Jurassic RimWorld Let's Play. So we should have a pretty action-packed episode ahead of us today. Uh, not only has our away team arrived at their little outpost that they have to attack, but back at base we had a uh, poison ship land right outside the hotel. So uh, not only do we have to handle this situation, but we'll need to go ahead and deal with whatever's hiding in here. Now I've taken the liberty of setting up some sandbag emplacements um, around you know this thing so we should have firing positions to work from or at least we will very soon and we can just tear these down when we're done but I figure this way we'll be able to fire on them from every direction and that should help spread their fire out to the point where we're relatively safe and obviously it should you know prevent them from being able to take cover behind the ship itself so, let's handle this first, because we obviously need to wait for those sandbags to get built, and I don't really need to supervise that so much. So, I'm going to take these three. Actually, I might want to split them up. I think this is a pretty good position to set up in. So, let's take Bruce, and I'm going to ask Bruce to set up, uh, like here, I think, maybe there. Got the tree, got the chunks, and he's going to fire on anything coming from this side or you know coming along here and then Gomez and Marin are gonna set up over here and they're gonna focus on this side we'll see if that works out for us gonna leave the dinosaurs back here to let them graze because I do not want to risk them getting shot uh, that's gonna be the easiest way for us to hurry home and if they get injured then that's out the window Oh wow, there's actually a lot more of them. Maybe let's not get so close. Hmm, how do I want to handle this? Bruce could go there. Maybe, you know what, let's, let's sit here. Bruce, you're gonna be in a firing position there. Gomez, I'm gonna send you around the back of this. And Marin, I'll put you uh, how about there? Yeah, that works. Nobody's shooting at us yet. I think these are the only five, though. There are a couple guns, so we'll need to keep an eye on that. Alright, Gomez is going to open fire, and she just domed Freckles there. Okay, we landed a few shots there. Okay, good. Uh, Bruce, please don't get hit. Come on, guys. You're making this look real hard. Uh, Gomez, move up to here where you can actually help. Bruce, I need you to focus on this person that's rushing you. Come on, guys. Don't get caught in melee. Thank you for doing that. Uh, I might need to pull Bruce back. Yeah, Bruce, retreat. Retreat to here. Run, run, run. Watch the friendly fire. Oh, you timed that pretty well, actually. Okay. One left. All three of you, light them up. Light her up. Cool. So I think we killed them all. I uh, wouldn't have minded taking maybe one of them prisoner, but it didn't work out that way. Let's uh, bring the guns back with us, though. And I guess anything else that's salvageable. Right, so what kind of equipment were they wearing? Um, nothing that we can save. Nothing there either. Um, she's got a molly webbing vest that's not worth much. That vest is, or this plate carrier is pretty good though. Actually, <clears throat> I guess it doesn't matter. We'll strip her, but it doesn't make a difference. We can loot it right off the, the body when we leave. Okay, Bruce, how bad were you hit? Not very. Um, let's try to deal with these turrets safely. So, Marin. Hmm. Where is it connected? Pretty much directly to the battery. So, we either destroy the turret or we destroy the battery. I say we destroy the battery. 
So as long as you stay out of range. Oh, that was a little bit too close. I think right here is fine. She can shoot the battery from there. And there isn't one on that side, so that's the only thing we need to watch out for. You two come over here as well. And as soon as we deal with this turret, I think that's uh, mission complete. And we can poke our heads in here and see if there's anything else worth looting. Uh, Bruce, what are you doing, man? There we go. Oh, Gomez, you're too close to. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Shoot this. Gomez, come over here. Fire on the battery. Cool. We'll take the components, and let's see, Marin. Is that the only door? I think so. Okay, Marin, you're gonna check the interior. We know it's clear, but I'd like to see what's inside. You guys, um, we'll probably set up, no, we don't need to set up beds, they'll treat themselves on the way back. Um, okay, so quest complete. I suppose we should just leave. There's really no reason to hang around. They have medicine, so they should treat themselves on the caravan trip. So let's just immediately get them loaded up and heading back. And depending on the length of their journey, we might be able to have them back in time for the poison ship. Uh, but I don't want to wait too long because it is, you know, in a fairly central location on the map very near to a lot of our stuff and I don't want to risk you know my crops getting poisoned or anything like that okay so reform the caravan yeah that works items all the meals there we go uh, berries components we only got one but it's better than none uh, bed rolls, yes, but those are already ours, so they're already marked. Let's see. I'll take the Gladius, because it is worth a bit. Guns as well, and then I wanted this plate carrier. Oh, and the silver, because why not? Okay, don't care about beds. We'll take the turret, though. And then head home. 1.5 days. And how long until this? 28? Uh, 27 now. Okay. Well, that's fine. We got plenty of time. So I think we're good to go. We'll lock that in. Let's get back over here and we'll check in on how these sandbags are coming along. Uh, probably not very well at the moment. I don't think anybody's staying up to work on them, though. I had Wayne prioritize to do some of it, but it looks like as soon as he finished. But I set up, he just went to sleep. Alright, so we're finally making some progress here. Uh, we've got an eclipse. That's a shame because we really do rely on those solar panels, but nothing to be done. Oh, we just made it through boss's resistance. Cool, so boss should be joining us pretty soon here. Uh, boss, were you much of a fighter? Yeah. If we could get boss to join before this goes down, I've got some pretty nice guns that he could go ahead and equip and help us out with so that would be really really nice um, not a whole lot of progress being made over here but I'm okay with that for the time being I'd much rather see the sandbags get built need to fill in these walls as well okay so now I just have to wait and see on that um, I can't mark these as prisoner beds yet so what I'll do I don't know what I'll do right now because I don't want to Make them guest beds and our guests end up sleeping there, or medical beds and then, you know. So I'll just leave them as is. And, yeah, here we go. Everybody's chipping in on these. That's what I like to see. I can slow things down a little bit. And I believe as soon as this one is finished, that is that. Why did everybody run away? Okay, I guess Schultz going to do it. Perfect. Major break risk. What is your deal? Ah, right. 
I forgot, she's a body purist and she has a peg leg. Well, that's not going to go away. Because, you know, we need something there. And even though we could certainly improve on a peg leg, it's not going to make her like it any less. So, yeah, uh, we will eventually get her a better leg, though. It's just, it's not going to help with the, the mood thing. Uh-oh. Uh, Spinosaurus is hunting one of our boars. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'll just let him eat it. Are you going to actually eat it? Oh. I'll let her eat it. Um, yeah, eat the whole thing. Wow. So, I'm going to do my best to not kill this thing, but I might not have a choice. As soon as it decides to hunt a person, though, that's when we have to... Well, a person or, like, an actual pet, like one of the dogs, I'll have to intervene at that point. And, again, if worse comes to worse, we can always take a, uh, a DNA sample from it. Which will, of course, destroy the body, but at least we might be able to grow a Spinosaurus later. And, you know, honestly, at some point we'll need to do that anyways, because if we want to splice... Dinosaurs together, we do need samples. Let's see. Elephant meat has rotted away. What's a little frustrating in this mod, though, is... Um, you basically need... Why is this not... You know what? Did I forget to... Damn it. That's why. So, one of these was fighting against the other and making this warm, and it cost us a bunch of meat. Oh, well. Live and learn. Hopefully, having them both set to minus 20 resolves that issue. Blocked sewage outlet. Yeah, for whatever reason, this thing just doesn't want to work properly. It should be getting drained when it hits 50%, and it keeps hitting much higher than that, and they just ignore it. Uh, Wayne, when you're done eating, I need you to come handle that, because otherwise our bathrooms won't function. Uh, empty the septic tank. God, this room is going to be full. Woody's been cranking away at the chem fuel. Allison's working on it too, but still, it needs to get done faster. I wish... Uh, I'll have to see. Maybe we can trade it to somebody, like a bulk goods trader. But I would love to be able to just sell off a bunch of it. Ah, damn. I think we're gonna have to kill this thing. I don't see a way around it. I just, I have nowhere to store it yet. If we wanted to make it, like, an exhibit. And, uh... It's obviously pretty content to hang out right in the middle of our base. Hmm. How far are you guys out? 0.6 days. We'll wait until they're back, because I think Bruce's machine gun is going to be very helpful in that regard. Uh, obviously, we'll need that for this as well. And I would have liked to see... Okay. I would have liked to see... Uh, boss join us before we handle that too. Tails, um, can we talk to this guy yet? No. Gotta wait for that cooldown. So yeah, I think we'll kill this thing and then take the sample. I think it's this one. Genetic extraction table. Rodent, uh, muffalo dinosaur, yeah. So at least we'll have that. And we'll be able to grow some variation of Spinosaurus later. Or maybe a spliced one, or whatever we decide to do with it. But at least we'll have it. Alright, the caravan is home. So, uh, we'll get them... Well, I guess the animals can just hang out in the corner there. And perfect timing! Tails asked Boss to join. Boss, where are you? There you are. What are you doing? Wearing a flak vest? Uh, I'll get you something better than that, actually. And that gun is no good for you. Let's look at your work tab first. So, obviously, firefighting, patient, bed rest, uh, flicking switches and all that stuff. What were you good at? 
gonna have to click on you and look at this. Okay. Uh, pretty much just fighting. Fighting, maybe crafting, maybe social with time. So, what I could really use is somebody cleaning. Crafting, I think we'll put on or relieve on three. Smithing and tailoring, I don't really want him doing that because crafting entails like cutting stone and basic stuff like that. There are other crafting projects, obviously, but uh, that's the main one. I don't mind him cutting stone. Don't really want him making us clothes or weapons, though. Uh, construction, probably not. I'll leave it at a four. He can help when necessary. Hunting, that's fine. Uh, wardening, I think a three is okay. Uh, jailer is fine as well. You know what? Should probably do that. Don't really want him negotiating for us, though. At least not until his skills have improved. Now then. Run on up here, and we got a couple of different vests. Actually, is this, this black vest the best one? Let's see, 130 sharp protection on the torso, neck, and shoulders. How about this interceptor body armor? Which one's in the best shape? They're all basically identical. Torso, neck, shoulders, 102. So this is actually going to protect better. What about one of these? These are worse, um, movement speed, I think these allow them to move a little bit better. And they do improve aiming time, so that's something that could be beneficial as well. Uh, boss, come equip this, and I'll give you this for now. Okay, there's your gun, and there's your vest. Let's see, what are you wearing? Probably don't need that anymore. We'll get you some better clothes, but for now I guess what you're wearing is fine. Right, so it's time to deal with this dinosaur and then the ship. So let's see, boss, I want you on this side, I think. Riker, you've got the best range, so maybe over here or something, I don't know. Virgil, sorry to interrupt your bath, but I'm going to need you. I'll put you, like, here. Tails, we'll have you, like, there or something. Did I already put someone in that spot? Yeah, I did. Okay, Tails there. Woody and Ayla can't help us. Uh, Petra can, though. Allison, we'll have you over here. Actually, that's more like shotgun range, isn't it? So we'll put you there. Gomez, um, you should probably ditch those weapons somewhere. Where are you? Are you inside? You're still unloading your inventory. I'll draft you last then. Okay, Elijah, Marin, uh, maybe back here or something. Wayne, you've got a shotgun, so that one. You've also got a shotgun. Are you any good at fighting? Mm, only melee. Bruce, definitely going to want you. Z, definitely going to need you. And, of course, Tone. And Boss has already been drafted. So we'll get them set up around here, and I don't know how we're going to deal with the dinosaur, but we'll figure it out. Okay, got a lot of shotguns. I am curious. You're barely in range there. God, even that close, they can barely hit them. So, I think Elijah, I'm going to put you somewhere else. Um, I don't know how I want to do that. Here's what I'll do. Tails, come up, come to this side because your gun has better range. Elijah, you're going to take her spot. Amanda, you go there. Wayne, you go here. Z, you can set up maybe there or something. I don't know. Actually, I might have... No, it's fine. It's fine. Because you can shoot that far. Yeah. Right. Tone, you go there. So the first thing I want is all of you guys to fire on this thing. Perfect. Okay. That went pretty well. Uh, Woody. Woody, Woody, Woody. Can you do me a favor? We'll have to set this up first. We want to extract dinosaur genes. And I'm going to ask that Woody specifically do this. 
Um, yeah, that's all fine. You know what? Dr. Ella can do it since he's asleep. She's just as capable. Um, right, but I need to change the bill if I do that. So, where is she? There. Alright, can you do me a favor and extract some dino genes? And once she retrieves the corpse, we'll go ahead and kick this off. Uh, Gomez, you've unloaded everything? Everything except for the shotgun. So get back in here. What else are you carrying? Oh, package survival meals. Okay, ditch those. Or ditch that. And ditch those in there for now. That's fine. And then I need you... God, I don't know. Over here or something? Maybe I'll move Allison over to there. Put Riker there or something. I just... I worry about anything that's going to do area of effect damage. Especially because there's probably going to be mechanoids in here. And mechanoids tend to do area of effect damage. Uh, I'm also a little bit worried about Beatrice. I don't want... I don't care about the boars getting annihilated. Um, we'll just, you know, eat them or whatever's left of them. But obviously I don't want my dog getting annihilated. Okay. So we're ready. Who's going to take the first shot? It really doesn't matter. Um, Wayne, you're probably the least useful in this fight, so you can... Oh, God. <laughs> you crack it open. Okay. Is it only two of them? Well, you guys obviously are going to be asked to shoot that one. You guys need to shoot this one. And then I think everybody else is going to target the big one. Okay. Tails has been hit. Tails, uh, retreat. No, no, no. That was not what I wanted to do. Stand your ground. Keep, keep firing, keep firing. Uh, Tails, you retreat. Damn it. <laughs> Just you, Tails. Okay, boar died. Don't really care. Cool. Is that it? If that's it, then let us go ahead and fire on the ship itself, just so it stops damaging my terrain. But that went pretty well. Uh, they only gave us two mechanoids, so obviously that was about as easy as it could have been. Can we maybe put her out now? Come on, guys. There we go. All right, Tails, you need to get to bed. Go rest and Dylan will treat you. Please don't get yourselves caught on fire. Cool. And we've extracted dino genes. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So we need to fix this. First of all, critical. Don't allow anything unless it is. Is it going to be manufactured? Yeah. Only genetic materials are allowed in here. And we'll copy that and we'll paste it to there as well. Um, stop what you're doing, and haul that to where it should be. You didn't drop it. Why didn't you drop it? <sighs> Why do they have to be so difficult? She's literally just going to run a loop and then take it back. I don't know. The, the pickup and haul mod really screws some stuff up. Well, as long as it gets done, I suppose it's fine. I'll check in in a minute. Uh, and I'll also ask for all this to be deconstructed. Man, there's a lot of boars hanging out in this area. I really need to start culling them or something. Let's see, how are we doing on packaged survival meal, by the way? Uh, we have a lot. Looks like they already grabbed the boar, maybe? Yeah, they did. Okay. And you know what? I have that extra turret now. What side do we need it on? We've got one up here, we've got one down here. I should really do the corners as well. But for now, I think right here is fine. And just for the time being, I'll ask that they run a conduit out there. And then the next one we get will go over here, but I would like to do each corner. And 
we'll figure it out. Eventually we're gonna have proper defenses, but as the base expands, it's kind of hard to do that. But what I'd like to do is when the park is more or less done, I'm going to run like a chain link fence around the entire perimeter. And obviously the chain link fence is not impossible to destroy, but the idea is that in the four cardinal directions, so to the north, Maybe not the north, because that's going to be kind of tight up there with the administration building. But on the southeast and west, I believe. Um, south, east, and west. There we go. I'm going to have entrances. So the enemy spawns out here. They're just going to walk to the entrance because it's open. Uh, they're not going to tear through the fence if they don't have to. Unless they're uh, a sapper. They might, but, you know, that's one person. So... They'll, you know, come down here to the entrance, and the entrance will be open, but heavily fortified. And so we can kind of control where the fights happen and make them work to our advantage. And we'll have turrets set up to help support that. But, uh, I don't know how much space I'm going to need for this park. So it's a little bit difficult for me to plan that. What I could do is, let's see, fences. Where are you? There you are. I could just do fences pretty much on the extremes here, so this is as far out as it'll let me build. I can just run a fence along this. It's going to require a ton of material, because obviously the bigger the square that we set this fence as, the you know the longer the stretch of fence is. And steel is at a little bit of a premium right now, so I'll have to decide if that's how I want to do it. But I could just do that, and then right about here where the center of the park is, we'll you know leave a walkway. And we'll have some sort of defensive checkpoint, uh, maybe set in a little bit so the enemy will, you know, turn the corners, say, like if this is where the entrance is, we'll have security checkpoints here, and so if the enemy starts and comes in this way, then we'll set up there and just kill them in some sort of, uh, not like a traditional RimWorld kill box, but something sort of like that, but a little bit less um, gamey, I suppose. Boss, I know you're cleaning, but do you think you could haul these components and other things that shouldn't be outside? I like how he goes for the steel first, because the steel matters the least. Alright, uh, did this make it where it needed to be? Yes. Frozen won't spoil. What are these set to, by the way? Minus 10? Perfect. And these are set to minus 10 as well. But they're not on. So we have our... Dinosaur genetic material, perfect. We'll have to see what exactly we can do with that. Obviously, there's still a lot of expansion and building that needs to be done in here, but I'm not super concerned about that right now. That's for the future. I'm just trying to get it started where we can. A muffalo shaman. Just the one, huh? Okay. Boss is hauling stuff. This is our... Oh, our Resurrector, Resurrector Mech Serum, right. The other reward that we got from the mission today is right here. So this is the Spectre Code Red. And it does look like a laser designator or something, or maybe a rangefinder. So I do believe it is a targeting device for a gunship run. Oh no, not a heat wave. I hate those so much. Um... What we can do is, I'm going to ask for one of these to get built, like, there. And we'll air condition this building. Eventually, I'd like to air condition them all, but we'll see if that's necessary. I mean, it probably will be. How much do these require? 200 watts. What's our surplus on energy right now? Not a lot. Our excess is only about 100, and that's with the new geothermal generator up in the north here. So, yeah, unless we build another one of those. Well, hard to say, actually, because during the day, our excess is going to be a lot higher. Unless, of course, there's like an eclipse or something. So we might be all right to build a few of those. Uh, Tails, how are you doing? You're not too bad. That's good. Uh, she was on fire for a while, I was a little concerned, but looks to be doing okay. Um, but yes, I would like to 
air condition as many buildings as possible just because we do have, you know, multiple people living in each one. And I don't want them sleeping in the heat because that's a... Uh, that is a um, mood debuff that can really, really become problematic. Because it, you know, stays for the entire day and then they sleep in the heat again and it just kind of keeps building up. So let's get one on every building. And we'll just hope that the amount of power we're gaining during the day more than makes up for it. Alright, so we just finished our crude bionics research. So, from that, we'll be able to start producing, obviously, some sort of prosthetic that can help people like uh, Amanda. Unfortunately, she's going to be very unhappy to have such a prosthetic, but it will still benefit her. Uh, so, what I wanted to do, and unfortunately, I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, this is the basic prosthetics workbench, so that is... Yeah, that's not what we want. Um, if we go to production... We need a simple prosthetic workbench, and then the uh, bionic workbench, which, is that a separate one? I, I always forget because I'm so used to using the EPOE mod, so I, I don't really remember how vanilla prosthetics work, which I think is what we just researched. I guess let's do a simple prosthetics bench here. And I'll ask for another one of these stools, because I do like these. Um, and that will allow us to make the simple one, which then gets upgraded to the bionic. Now let's see, where was that even? We're doing sewage treatment next, so that should help with our fecal sludge problem. But... Let's see... Bionic... Bionic's workbench! So we did not research that yet. Let's add that next. What did we just finish then? Huh. I thought it was like crude bionics or something. I don't know. But we don't have the bionic bench yet. And that's what I was looking for, so let's just go ahead and do it. We'll do the simple prosthetics now. So that we can make her a simple prosthetic leg, which will eventually be able to be upgraded to a bionic. Unfortunately, we don't have enough space in here to fit them both. We'll have to remove this, but even still, we're a tile short. So I don't know how that's going to work. But uh, we'll worry about that when we actually have the ability to make it. Because otherwise, right now, it's not a problem. Alright, so I've given Boss a uh, new haircut. Just something a little bit less like, um, I don't know, a little less anime looking, I guess. But uh, we'll still have to find him sort of like his unique outfit. Uh, or actually, he might end up on the security team, so he might just be in uniform. We'll have to decide. But I, I do kind of want everybody to, uh, aside from you know the people that are part of like our military force, I want them to have a unique looking outfit because it's a lot easier for me to distinguish them that way. Also, you know, for roleplay reasons, because you know people generally don't wear the same clothes as each other. And even though that's more convenient for me, um, I don't like doing that? I, I don't know, I think it looks boring. Uh, Schultz and Petra broke up. Didn't they get married? That's disappointing. Well, Petra should be the one living here. And Schultz, we'll move you into... I think like Woody and Schultz should probably be living in this one. I'll put Schultz here. Where is he? Um, there. So, Schultz is going to be there, and Woody's going to be here. There we go. So, the researchers are in the research room, and then Tone and Boss are going to need to get moved. Is this house full? It is. Or, or is, is this building full? Yeah. So, this is unknown now. I'll go ahead and put boss in that one and then tone needs a bedroom I guess for now he can sleep in this one there we go okay and so now these are all one person bedrooms again shame um, yeah I can't remember if they were married let's see it should actually say uh, ex-lover. 
So no, they would say ex-wife if they had been married. But I thought they were either married or going to get married. Maybe they were going to get married. But that's a bummer. Uh, this should not be out here, by the way. That should be... Uh, as much as I don't want to put more crap in this room. Let's see. Manufactured advanced components. And I should forbid them from being in here. There. Okay. Somebody should get to that, eventually. Just don't want it sitting outside forever and deteriorating. And it looks like they are doing more paving of these paths, so that's cool. I feel like by the end of this... Oh, yeah. By the end of this, um, we're gonna have, like, more paving than actual, like, exposed jungle. Well, maybe not, but it's gonna be pretty extensive. And down here in the south is where most of the jungles could remain, because for a lot of the animal enclosures, I'm just gonna fence off an area and leave, like, an entrance. I'm not going to do anything other than that, so the dinosaurs will be free to roam around, and for the herbivores, that'll be even easier on me because I don't need to worry about feeding them, I'll just let them graze. Uh, for the carnivores, we'll try to make kibble out of boar meat and whatever we're growing, and then down the line, I'd like to get aquaculture basins going, um, sort of like the ones we're trying to set up in the Fallout playthrough just so that we have a more reliable source of meat, because the boars, while they do reproduce pretty quickly, um, I, I don't trust, you know, like, animal populations to be sustainable for very long. But we'll see, maybe they will be, and I don't need the aquaculture basins. But yeah, we're gonna turn them into kibble for the carnivores, and somebody will have to, like, go in there and, you know, obviously supply... She's on an insulting spree. They'll have to supply the dinosaurs with available food. Otherwise, they'll try to break out of the enclosures. So that'll be a fun little mechanic we have to deal with. If we don't keep them fed, they try to escape, and they will escape. Because there is not a wall in this game that could prevent a T-Rex from breaking out. Right, well, uh, with that, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. So, obviously a lot went down there, but it all worked out in our favor. So, the mission to the enemy outpost ended with... Uh, nothing but two very minor injuries that were healed, you know, pretty much immediately. And we got a reward, which we can maybe use down the line to wipe out an enemy base or something. Or if we get a particularly bad raid, we can decide to use it then. We've also got a new recruit in the form of Boss, who I will need to rename. And what else? Ah, we got... Or we had to kill the Spinosaurus, which is unfortunate, because it was just, you know, being a little bit too friendly with us and our base. But on the bright side, we did get the dinosaur genetic sample that we can use for future cool stuff. So there is that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.